I want you to think about that. Your last name, your asset does not appreciate if you do not put value in it. What is the value that you're adding? We started this all by telling you about generational wealth has risk. Are we leaving our kids, are we leaving the generations behind us more than just money? Do they understand the obstacles that may be in front of them? You being a pioneer, you being a trailblazer, you got to not only write down your wins, but you got to write down your losses. We call that family SOPs and the losses tell us the obstacles that they're going to be faced with. Well, we got to understand that, man, build the world is more about just leaving our kids money, man. It's more about leaving the generations behind us money. It's about leaving them a blueprint. It's about leaving them footprints in the sand that they can put their feet in and follow. It's about guidance. So I'm going to keep it real with you, man. Like when you think about generational wealth, you out here drinking like crazy and, and smoking like crazy and not eating like it's supposed to be. I'm going to be real with you. You really and truly not helping. Because if you leave your kid a thousand, a million dollars or two million dollars and they don't have the guidance... Yo, you just now killed that generational wealth. That's the risk. You also got to be willing to take care of yourself. You got to think longevity. So for me, when I think about my daughter, I'm like, yo, how do I start working out better? How do I start eating better? I don't drink. I don't smoke. I got to get my rest at night because I won't be here not only because she's seven. I won't be here when she get older. I won't be able to teach her firsthand. Yo, we got to do this. We got to do this. We need to be doing this. Here's the mistakes. I want her to come in here and see me running, trapping tools. I want her to see me running a production so she can learn how to do production. But even going a little further, I want to skip her, which is the skipping tax where I can give her kids. And I can put that in the trust saying, yo, this doesn't go to her. This goes to her kids. We talking about generational wealth, but we talking about the risk of it because as the trailblazer, all we know is the one generation. We know us. How many people we can count on and say, yo, that was generational, that was generational? Not because the move we made, but because we now see the other generation running the business. The one thing I love about TD Jakes is this. We are watching him put Sarah Jakes in position to run it. We watching it. We watching it. And we get to sit back and say, okay, let's see her run it. Let's see her turn the potter's house into woman evolve. Let's see woman. We get to see it. I'm going to be real with you. We watched the Kardashians put things in place until the youngest one became the first billionaire. We watched it. So that tells us what? The family is in good hands. And the crazy part was, she did it completely different than everybody else. But guess what? Everybody gave her a blueprint on the journey. Whether you like it or not, they gave her the blueprint, they gave her ingredients. So we don't truly know what generational wealth is until the other generation is in front of us running the thing. What's good, Trappers, man? It's your boy, The Wall Street Trapper. Right now, I want to invite you to an amazing experience full of value. That is my community, Trappers Anonymous. It's 100% the greatest fundamental investing community on the market. Listen, your portfolio should be a masterpiece. And the only way we get you there is if we help you to learn how to invest with confidence. Now listen, I get it. Like you don't know a lot about stocks or maybe you've heard people say how much money they lost in stocks, but I can guarantee you one, because they weren't in the community and two, they lack the information. Our goal in Travels Anonymous is to help you, really to hold your hand on the journey to becoming a confident investor, learning how to navigate through the different events that the stock market goes through to take you from panic to encouragement. There's there's no better time than now. This is an opportunity only for those who are willing to be on the journey. So listen, man, click the link below. 
Come join me and Travis Anonymous, man. I will see you in one of our many classes, whether it's Moat Monday, whether it's the two hour class we do on Sunday, or whether it's just a book club, everything is geared toward making you a better investor so you can triple your network and turn your last name to an asset. It's your boy Wall Street Traveler. See you in a trap. Build the world is about not just elevating yourself. It's about elevating yourself, it's about elevating your behavior, it's about elevating your habits, it's about elevating your focus, so then that you can elevate your finances, so you can then elevate the family. So we truly don't know what generation world is because we don't know what the next generation would do that's out of our control. So what are we doing to put the next generation in position to be in cruise control? The easier you can make it for them, the more long-lasting we know that you well can be. So when we say change the dynamics of our family and we say turn our last names into an asset, your asset depreciates if you do not put value in it. Woo! I want you to think about that. Your last name, your asset does not appreciate if you do not put value in in it. What is the value that you're adding? What do we have in place besides money? What's the generational wealth blueprint? What does the family's portfolio consist of? Let's go a little further. What is the intellectual property that the family holds? What is the purchasing power that the family has? What is the core values of the family? Because the core values keep us in line. What is the mission statement? Because the mission statement lets us know we after. What is the financial footprint that your family have that you're putting in place? Mind you, because you're the first generation of millionaire, it's on you. You gotta carry the cross. And if you ain't willing to do that, man, then what you really doing? The risk of generational wealth. The risk a generation of wealth. Are you willing to sacrifice and put the things in place for a generation that you will not see? Because I want you to understand something. You're one generation from them messing up everything you put in place. You're one generation from having one kid who thinks he's entitled or she's entitled. You're one generation from one kid saying, I don't want nothing to do with none of that. You're one generation from one kid selling a whole estate. You're one kid away from one kid selling the entire portfolio. You're one generation away from somebody saying, I can do it myself. And even though you are gone, and even though you are in the ground, and even though you worked your ass off to get it, Will you be like the Vanderbilts? You talking about a coming of a man that worth billions? Or will you be like Sam Walton? Choice is yours. But I will tell you this: Do not let your investments go in vain. Because the opportunities that we don't take advantage of now become obstacles for the next generation. But the opportunities that we do take advantage of become leverage for the next generation. And the consequences of building wealth is a lifetime of freedom. My goal is to create a family and a bloodline that is normalized freedom. Time equity. Only your 24 hours. That's what Traffic Tools is all about. It's about helping you create legacy, being more confident in your investment decisions so that you can stop getting it out the mud and you can get.
get it out the market. It's your boy, the Wall Street Trapper Man. Thank you for participating in another amazing episode of Trapping Tuesdays. Episode 35 was truly for the ones who, who just jumped on this boat with us and you want to ride it out. You looking for a new home when it comes to learning how to build wealth. You looking for a new place that you can tune into to help you understand the markets. You looking for a new place that you can call yours, a community, a family that you can be a part of that have the same mindset of you that want to go the same place you want to go. But that speaks your language that looks like you and that has the relatability. So with that, I want to just say everybody welcome.